I swear, I see uh, stories all the time about, and I get into it on this, but people claiming people are time travelers, and I don't understand it. It's just there's uh, there is a lack of reason in this uh, era. Someone at some point is going to figure it out, and they had to at some point. And if they're here, I wouldn't be surprised. Like it's right there with aliens and Bigfoot. Look, stuff, if there like, is time, if there is a possibility of time travel if ever in our future we invent time travel yeah then it makes sense that there very well could be time travelers <laughs> here as we speak could but be some of these are just stupid well maybe yeah i uh talked about uh teased it earlier in the show says that uh, we will talk about uh, how i am tired of the time traveling idiots <laughs> stop with all the time traveling nonsense meaning somebody sees an old timey picture and it looks like somebody's doing something modern in it so they're like it's a time traveler uh, maybe. You see this stuff. Maybe. This is uh, a painting from 1860. Uh, it's a, a painting by Ferdinand George Waldmuller. And the name of the painting is called The Expected One. There's a woman in the painting. It looks like she's holding an iPhone and looking at a screen. You know, you see people walking and looking at a screen yeah. down the street or down the sidewalk, rather. Uh, and that's exactly what it looks like. But especially if you look really closely at it, you will see that it is a, a, a like a prayer book it's totally a book you know like people see this stuff all the time and they like it's a time traveler i don't know how serious they are it really looks like a phone it does but once you look at it uh closely or closely <laughs> sorry that's not that's a totally a book it's not an iphone it looks like a phone. Shut up. I'm not joking. Shut, it's not a phone. <laughs> it's not a phone. But why is she the one time traveling is what I need to know now. Because how did she get painted if it's why? a phone? Why? Women can't time travel? That's pretty sexist. No, I didn't mean women. That's exactly what she <laughs> no. said. No, I meant how <laughs> How did this woman, like she had to pose with that phone in the 1800s for the painter to paint this. Yeah. So how did this all happen? This all seems very unlikely. You think so, huh? <laughs> you, took that un- ra- you took that logical route to get to that logical conclusion. I'm unrolling the whole thing you know, in front no, of us. No, yeah, here. no. Great brain work, Tim. <laughs> as I said terrible words earlier, I just yelled at you for being stupid as I was stupid. <laughs> That's Sorry, okay. everybody. It's okay. <laughs> Closelier. Closelier. Like, how do we miss that and not go into a stuttering Smitty uh, uh, later? Because I know we had stuff going on after that. That'll go to the real. I think that How can... does that have to go? To... What else was yesterday or the day before that I said stupid? I mean, that was a lot, man. I've had a few good zingers lately. Uh, they were almost zany. But uh, I can't think of any off the top of my head. But no, no. closely or right there. Closely has to go there. And I'm still right. on the fence with the time travel thing. Part of me thinks what I mean just, you're on the fence. Like, I, I want in it this to, instance. I want it to be real. I mean, look, you, I you want see Bigfoot some online. You see some online, and typically they're photographs, black and white photographs from yeah. like turn of the century or something. And uh, some of them are really fascinating looking because some of them look so convincingly like somebody from the future. There was yeah. man. There was this one. I wonder if I could actually find it real quick. So uh-huh. let's pause. It. You're going to experience all of a sudden this. All right. So uh, I found this video, and I saw this probably two to three years ago prepping for a show and talked about it. Okay. It was out of England. Now, they claim uh-huh. that it is a uh, uh, time traveler, traveler actually uh-huh. teleporting. This is basically like security cam footage. Uh, okay. He walked in right here. And now, as you can see, he's oh, going I didn't to know look for some something. guy after narrating it. Something. Dumb stuff. I'm going to meet this guy because it's yeah. annoying. Okay. So he walks right there and he acts like he's picking something up. So it could be like a, the teleportation device. Now, I will tell you that I am 99% certain it's just fake. You know, it's yeah, a hoax. Yeah. We can't say a hoax all willy nilly anymore. No, I'm watching. He's like walking around looking for something like his te- tra- teleportation device. Oh, found it. Boom. Weird. Here he goes. Kaboom. Hurry up. Is this guy pausing it? No. No. It's flashing. Yeah, I say fake. 
I say fake. Here it is. Boom. There he goes. There it is. There he's not anymore. So, yeah, like, you could say uh, that that is convincing video. You could say, uh, you know, there's video of ghosts that some people say is really real. That is true. You know? Uh, Who am I to say it's not? But I'm pretty sure it's not. It's all so crazy. I don't even know what to think. What would you do if you found out there was actual time travelers? Because, oh. look, at this point, Time travel could actually be a thing. I mean, they yeah. basically discovered parallel universes, the Higgs boson collider in Geneva, whatever the hell that thing is. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, it's insanity. Plus, we did a story on the show today about actual age reversal been proven and happened for the first time ever. We're in a scientific world. <laughs> well, not a lot of people loving it. Uh, I think I'd go back and rearrange some historical things to make uh, – hopefully make things better. Uh, looking at you, Hitler.